I have a lot on my mind today. More specifically, I have a lot on my brain today. What is it, you ask? Hydrogen, of course. I have hydrogen on the brain. And trust me, that's a good thing. Well, don't just trust me. Let me tell you all about it. Let me tell you how hydrogen can benefit general brain health, brain damage and injuries, brain diseases and disorders, mental health, and cognitive function. So much good stuff to think about and talk about on this episode of H2 Minutes. This topic is extensive. The brain is an immensely complicated organ and hydrogen seems to do many things in it. So we are gonna discuss this topic in parts. This video is part one and we will talk about hydrogen and general brain health and briefly touch on mental health. If you wanna know more details about what I'm gonna talk about in this video, you can check the sources in the description. You should check out the description anyway. We include a lot of fun things there. Like my contact info, the link to buy shirts like this one, more information about our molecular patrons, and a link to some of the products we have reviewed. You will also find a link to our Patreon page where by supporting our channel, you will gain access to all kinds of extra content. Okay, now let's get our heads in the game. This first point is the most basic one, general brain health. Now, if you don't have any major or minor brain health issues, this is the one for you to listen up. What we mentioned in this part has implications for all the rest of the topics. First, it isn't really how hydrogen benefits the brain, but how it's able to benefit the brain. Because hydrogen is so small, it can penetrate the blood-brain barrier. How small is molecular hydrogen, you ask? Well, one of our first videos answers that very question with examples to help you grasp just how small it really is. You should watch it. Trust me, it will blow your mind. <sighs> so the blood-brain barrier is what protects your brain and decides what to let in and what to keep out. Alterations in its structure and its function have been found in numerous diseases. These alterations may affect brain function, allow toxins in, and inhibit vital nutrients. So a healthy blood-brain barrier is very important and necessary for brain health. But get this, hydrogen can not only get through this barrier, but also can protect it or enhance its function. This study says that H2 can protect the blood-brain barrier by decreasing its permeability, therefore preventing sepsis-related encephalopathy. Again, in this study, we see that hydrogen can improve neurological function by attenuating the blood-brain barrier disruption. Another way hydrogen can help with brain health is by reducing oxidative stress. If you have watched a lot of our videos, you've probably heard me talk about oxidative stress. This video right here, we made about oxidative stress and free radicals. It's super simple and helpful to understand what I mean by oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is an especially important topic when talking about the brain. The brain is the most vulnerable organ to ROS and oxidative stress. Even in healthy individuals, aging, job stress, and cognitive load over several hours can induce oxidative stress in the brain. Chronic oxidative stress causes deterioration within the central nervous system function, leading to a lower quality of life. The results of this study suggest hydrogen may be effective in reducing the cumulative oxidative stress in the brain and daily life. This potentially contributes to the maintenance of the central nervous system and prevents the decrease in quality of life. The results of this study as well indicate that H2 in drinking water can reduce oxidative stress within the brain. It strongly suggests that drinking hydrogen-rich water could reduce the risk of lifestyle-related oxidative stress and neurodegeneration. Increased oxidative stress can also lead to other issues in the brain. Neuroinflammation, or in other words, inflammation of the brain. Neuroinflammation is initiated in response to a variety of physiological neuronal changes. These changes can be brought about by infections, brain injuries, toxins, and autoimmunity. Oxidative stress and neuroinflammation can go on to cause many neurological disorders. Many studies have shown that H2 can suppress inflammation. This study specifically mentioned that H2 treatments were reported to protect against infections and brain inflammation. So we did a whole video on hydrogen and inflammation. It wasn't specific to the brain, but it will explain a lot more about hydrogen and inflammation than this video. The link to that will be in the description as well. Hydrogen can exert a neuroprotective effect against traumatic brain injury and attenuate inflammation. So essentially drinking hydrogen water or breathing hydrogen gas can be beneficial for your brain. Not only now, but it could protect it from any future injuries or stress that can happen to it. H2 is also shown to protect against neuronal cell death. And get this, H2 may trigger a protective adaptive response in the brain against oxidative stress. We also found in this study that hydrogen exerts an antidepressant-like effect 
by preventing oxidative stress, inflammation, and apoptosis in the prefrontal cortex and hippocampus. Speaking of antidepressant effects, one important benefit for hydrogen for the brain is mental health. This topic is a huge part of the Hydrogen for the Brain series. However, we won't be doing a video for it. The reason is because we've already covered this topic in some depth before. Two years ago, we did a whole series on the top 10 causes of death in the US. You can go check that series out here. It's our most extensive work to date, and we work really hard on it. Number 10 on the list is suicide. So we did a video on mental health and how it affects the potential for suicide and how hygiene can help. In the video, we discussed the role oxidative stress and inflammation play in mental health. We also dive into the five key topics in the broader mental health category. Those topics are depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and stress. We'll link this video in the description, and when you go to the video, you'll find a list of the time codes for each topic. You can click on that code to learn about the topic you want to learn about. So this was part one of our Hydrogen on the Brain series. We are going to go a little deeper next time and talk about hydrogen for brain damage and injuries. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell so you know when we'll post that video. Big shout out and thank you to our advanced patrons. Thank you to all of our patrons for the support and helping us make these videos possible. If you want to support what we do, head over to Patreon and check out our page. At Patreon, you'll get perks for supporting your favorite creators and you get to be a part of what we're we're doing to get the hydrogen information out to more people. Make sure you catch our part two of hydrogen on the brain. That was a whole head full of hydrogen in minutes.